very warm greeting to all of you students i hope you all are studying well at your home on the e-learning platform of e-learning office today we are going to discuss topic colonialism and changes in our patterns in this chapter we will come to know how british rule impact over urban patterns at first can you tell me what is urbanization and when it starts in india was it a new modern concept or earlier india had urban areas students i will start with urbanization it is the movement of people from villages to city or town where difference between the rural and urban area is economic activity economic activities are centered in city areas around non agriculture occupations such as trade manufacturing industry and management in india it starts 5000 years back when indus valley civilization was here students but it declined due to certain reasons again it happened during mauryan empire students can you tell me how we know about that yes we know about that fact from historical sources as megasthenes the ancient greek writer told us about chandragupta maurya's era it was never declined but the pattern of urban areas changes its shapes now students can you tell me what is deurbanization it is just opposite of urbanization which means the old cities closes the old cities loses its importance as they were not good for economic activities therefore urban people forced to live leave that place before british rule the moguls were the ruler of indian subcontinent their time was related with some special type of cities for example political towns or administrative centers example the bengal have capital of murshidabad during 1757 plassey war but when britishers got one rule over the bengal the murshidabad lost lost its charm and new calcutta became important students students next the emergence of new trading center was also reason of change in pattern the best example was madras which was not so important earlier before the british rule during moguls the city of surat was important now it's change with the city of madras students you can see in this picture that new madras develop with new kind of technological advancement students in this map you can see how many cities developed during the british india with the new importance feature students the other example is the city of masuli patnam which was important during mogal time but after british rule masuli patnam changes and lost the importance students the decline of industries and handicraft was also a reason to 
change in urban areas many old towns which all your important does due to industries they decline the best example is dhaka in bangladesh you can see how the important new machines does decline the textile industry and the city area become now village area students why the urban patterns change because of during british era establishment of new transports starts for example 1853 was the year when train come to india this mean that now we could travel from one place to another place faster and with so many peoples students again foundation of new cities happen just during era of british rule the presidency town emerge in 19th century out of three old factory towns that bombay madras and calcutta became presidency town they are important due to port areas they became new administrative capitals of british rule the bombay first of all established their factory at 1612 in surat they control this place and they create west coast control over the trade since the marathas were great threat to british at surat the british established another center at bombay bombay was center of portugalese they interfere but britishers won over them and soon they gain the new headquarter which was bombay it was also a strategic location you can see in this picture how the cities got new kind of buildings during british time again the madras which were replaced machli patnam which important during mogal period they made factories there and they create new kind of set of factories to their trade works madras became an advantageous place for trade with the indonesian island known for spices madras was raised to rank of presidency in 1658 and all the factories in bengal and the koromandal coast which was the western coast of india the governor after governor was appointed under whose sub supervision and control madras continued to flourish till 1746 students the next one the cantonment towns these were towns which were established sometimes in and around old existing towns especially to station east india company troops initially they were expected to be temporary arrangements but many of them grew into large towns and became permanent establishment for troops and subsequently 
civilian towns developed around the cantonments students delhi became the new capital of british rule after 1857 revolt the mughal delhi transformed very much you can see that in this picture how the delhi was look like you can see the old fort which known as wet fort and the market area where peoples are moving it transform into new building you can see in this picture the transform how it works the villages the countryside peoples were living and establishing their west areas in front of the forts which now looks like this this kind of new building just transform delhi delhi which were earlier important place during sultanate period where five dynasties create their capital in delhi in 1639 the mughal emperor shah jahan built a city named as shah jahanabad it consisted of fort and palace complex the city adjoining it the major landmark was chandni chowk and jama masjid the largest mosque in india colonial delhi convert from shah jahanabad to a large and thriving city before the british conquered it in 1803 the british lived here alongside wealthier natives in walled city till 1857 they learned to enjoy urdu and persian culture and poetry and participated in local festivals too but all these changed after the revolt of 1857 first of all baharusa second was exiled to rangoon his court was dismantled and several of his palaces were razed to the ground they cleared the area around the said fort for security reasons in 1870s the western wall of shah jahanabad was broken to establish railway lines and allow the city to expand beyond its previous walls students delhi became new capital in 1932 the coronation darbar memorial was some of the building erected before administrative offices shifted to delhi the british government also experimented in 1888 with a scheme of extension of wall cities as they were congested the lahore gate improvement scheme was planned by robert clark as the name suggests it is in lahore the main idea of the scheme was draw residents away from the old city to new type of market square the delhi improve with new kind of buildings in 1911 when king george v was crowned in england other bars was held in delhi to celebrate the occasion students i hope you understood all the aspects of chapter thank you so much have a great day